Hi there, I'm Teresi, and I want to welcome you to the Unreasonably Grateful Podcast. And although I say this each week, I continue to hear that new po- new people or people that perhaps I wasn't aware of or maybe even didn't think were listening in, and I want to make sure that I welcome you and thank you for being a part of this shared journey that we're on. Um you know, every week right now I'm reading a story from my recently released book, also called Unreasonably Grateful with the byline Living in Grace by Choice. And, you know, I don't have your answers, but we know that we do learn from one another's stories. So it's my hope that sharing my story will free you up in some way and give you a little bit more space or wiggle room in your own journey. So, you know, mine was, this is my 38th year of recovery from 20 years of dealing with addiction, which was an eating disorder in my case. And, you know, there's things that you learn along the way. And when we share that journey with someone else, oftentimes they can see something for themselves that perhaps they didn't see just looking at it uh, through their own lens, but sometimes seeing it through somebody else's lens. So anyway, welcome. Glad to have you here. Um, I apologize. I've got this like misshapen face because I'm healing from a really bad poison oak outbreak in my last couple weeks of living on a farm in California. And I'm moving to an area where there is no poison oak. So I don't know. I make up. I just needed one more dose to be done with it. Anyway, thank you again for being here. So this week's story that I'm reading is actually called uh, Tercy, which is my name. And it's about, you know, following the guidance that we're given, even when perhaps it doesn't make any sense, or maybe it even seems silly. Um, And maybe we just don't recognize the power that's going to be in that. So here you go. So for those of you that are following along, this is chapter 13. The date is 1992. One day I pulled our car into the parking lot of Blockbuster and I told the kids, I'm going to change my name. They were excited and they started suggesting names that they liked. How about Nicole or Ashley? I shared with them that God had given me a new name. It's Tercy. They were still for a bit and then suggested, well, what about Julie? We went inside and picked out a movie and on the way home, I told them the meaning behind my name. The name Tercy is a reminder to not keep any secrets, to be honest and open. If you spell Tercy backward, it spells secret. God has asked me to tell the truth about my past, to not keep it a secret any longer, to be willing to be transparent. Changing my name was challenging for me. I didn't know anyone who had changed their name, and I knew my parents would be upset with me. After all, they were the ones who had named me Marcia. My children were encouraging, always cheering me on standing by my side and loving me. I've been Tercy for 38 years now, and rarely a day goes by that someone doesn't ask me about my name or comment on it. And while I certainly didn't see it, changing my name became one of the most powerful things I've ever done. It's a constant reminder to be truthful and to trust to think God has a name for all of us that undoes our past and pulls us towards his love. So the message here is sometimes what we are guided to do is more important than we can imagine. Trust your inner guidance. You know, when I look back at it, I I really, changing my name was Yeah, it was hard because I had to, first of all, it was a different name. So like my kids said, it wasn't Julie or Ashley or something that we'd all heard of. And, but even that, I can see the perfection in that, even if it had been a different name with a different meaning, 
because it's a constant reminder and what we call things and what we call ourselves has an impact on who we are. So Tiercy always, it's always a reminder to be transparent, to be forthcoming. And in my case, to speak up, I had to speak up to rename myself and I had to share or I had the opportunity to share more about my journey and who I was and the path I was on. So I don't know what it'll be for you, but The point of this message is that your inner guidance has a wisdom that's so much bigger than our own mental capacity to navigate life. There's a wisdom that I think is age old and deeply embedded in each of us. And when we listen, when we get still and we slow down and we listen, we can tap into that wisdom. And then when we take the steps, to fulfill and live out that wisdom in our day-to-day life, my experience is that wisdom gets louder. It'll speak more often, more clearly, and it'll guide you powerfully through your day-to-day life. So I'm not saying you have to change your name. I'm saying listen to that inner wisdom and then be willing to step out and be courageous and follow that wisdom, knowing that It's way more powerful than perhaps you can imagine from the particular vantage point that you're in right now. All these years later, I don't think I ever could have imagined how powerful changing my name was. And I'm really glad I did it. So, okay, get still, get quiet, listen for that wisdom. And when you hear something, trust it, step out, take action towards it. All right. Have a beautiful week and I'll see you next week. And as always, if there's someone that you think would appreciate this podcast or my book, invite them and I'll be happy to include them in and welcome them. And I thank you so much for sharing. Have a beautiful week.